Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Ryan of Atelier, hello. Hi Ashley, pleasure to talk to you today. I'm Ryan Keto, I'm the CTO for Atelier. Very nice to meet you and talk to you today. So can you tell me, what's your company's position right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Great, so Atelier has two uh, products in the marketplace. One is Connect, and that's our media supply chain. It's a cloud native platform, and it's really meant to enable content creators to get their content to market quickly in the B2B supply chain. And then we also have Discover, which is a white label OTT service, also fully cloud based, to allow our customers to exhibit content as well. And what trends are you noticing as far as technology in the media and broadcasting industry? I think one of the biggest trends that we're seeing is the continued evolution of the business models. You know, there's a lot of change today, whether it's streaming, moving from SVOD to AVOD and being able to support it with ads. And that's creating a lot of uncertainty and there's still a lot of demand for content. So our um, industry and our customers are really looking for cost effective and efficient ways to get their content to market and in front of consumers. They're also very cost um, conscious right now because there's a lot of um, sort of challenges in the industry around delivering uh, content and doing that in a cost effective way and being able to back that with new revenue sources. Sure. And what new products or solutions are over here right now that you're focusing on and highlighting here at IBC? Yeah, the biggest one that we're talking about right now, beyond sort of our automation, which is core to our product, and really helps drive that efficiency and cost effectiveness, is Frame DNA. And Frame DNA is an AI-powered solution that we've come up with that allows our customers to deduplicate their inventory. So especially our larger studio customers and broadcasters who have been doing a lot of global distribution, that localization process has driven a lot of duplication, or even some of the compliance edits they've done for Ofcom or other reasons. And we can really intelligently use AI to reduce a lot of that storage footprint from about 70 to 90%. So that's a huge savings for our customers and it's a big efficiency boost. The other thing we're talking a lot about is disaster recovery. So for our on-prem customers who are looking for a way to get their fo uh, foot in the water uh, for the cloud, it's a great opportunity for them to use us and continue to use their on-prem workflows, but have a great dis disaster recovery in the uh, solution in the cloud that's not that expensive. So you don't have to have a whole second data center site. You can leverage us and AWS in the cloud for that. And we are also announcing a partnership with Kib, and they're a media uh, supply chain um, workflow company and we integrate with them to handle on-prem workflows. So whether you're cloud-based uh, and we're a cloud-native company, or if you want to use on-prem on or some hybrid in between, that announcement allows us to be very flexible and meet our customers where they are. Very nice. And so who are you targeting with these products and solutions, would you say, specifically? Sure. I would say any major broadcaster and anyone with a large, complex library is great for us to work with. But what we pride ourselves on at Atelier, being a uh, SaaS um, solution, is we can work with large customers and small customers. You know, we can work across that um, uh, area because we don't just come to market and ask you to customize everything. We try to come to market and meet you with a solution you can configure. And so whether you're a small broadcaster or the largest broadcaster in your country, you know, we have a solution that can meet your needs. Very good, and what can we expect from you in the near future? Sure, I think we'll continue to work on AI solutions. You know, again, Frame DNA is a big solution for us that we're pushing here because we know that's a challenge for customers to become more efficient with how they use and store their content. Uh, we continue to invest in AI also for predictive and data analytics. So if you're looking to deliver uh, more efficiently and to take advantage of some of the powers of AI to maximize the automation in your supply chain, that's another area we're going to continue to invest in. Very good. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Have a great show.